amazing pestilence to come, which in fact followed very shortly in Paris and throughout France and elsewhere, as I shall tell. All this year and the next, the mortality of men and women, of the young even more than of the old, in Paris and in the Kingdom of France, and also, it is said, in other parts of the world, was so great that it was almost impossible to bury the dead. People lay ill little more than two or three days and died suddenly, as if were in full health. He who was well one day was dead the next, and being carried to his grave. Swellings appeared suddenly in the armpit or in the groin, and in many cases both.